I've received a lot of questions about the Fujifilm recipe and lens I use to create my videos. As a huge Fujifilm fan, I'm drawn to the brand for its incredible color science, which I rely heavily on the camera itself. And dito na tayo sa iconic tourist attraction ng Osaka, guys. Finally. I like to keep things simple, so I avoid doing much color grading. It's just too much work for me. Recently, I was in Osaka and Kyoto for a short trip, and these cities are full of energy and life. There's so much happening that it's easy to capture amazing moments, whether in videos or photos. In this video, I'll not only show you how I achieved the look using Fujifilm's built-in settings, but also share some of the moments I captured during my trip. I use just one camera and that is the Fujifilm XS20, and it has become an essential tool for our vlogs. I love how this camera can last an entire day of filming and it's 6.2 open gate feature is a game changer, allow me to capture videos that crop beautifully into both wide and tall formats for all types of social media. The lens I pair with it is the Viltrox 27 f1.2. I'm consistently amazed by its incredible sharpness. While the lens is quite heavy, the outstanding quality it delivers makes every ounce worthwhile. The recipe I use is based on Reggie's Portra with a few personal tweaks. I've set the film simulation to classic chrome to achieve that rich, nuanced look. <laughs> Hoji cha latte. And one hoji cha latte. Iced. 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 <laughs> These adjustments help me get the exact look I want, balancing detail and mood perfectly. So that's a wrap on the Fujifilm setup I use and the settings that help me capture the moments you see in our videos. If you have any more questions or need further details, feel free to drop in the comment section below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon to stay updated on our latest videos. Thanks for watching. Young and Mike.